In this video, we're revealing a print-on-demand tutorial for complete beginners. And now, complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's literally the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. So check it out now. All right, guys, so this is literally the last print on demand tutorial you'll ever have to watch ever for the rest of your life. And this is literally exactly what helped me with like elephant t-shirts and Jesus t-shirts scale to like a $700 a day, you know, print on demand business before, you know, I use that skills to go ahead and attempt to do even more ways to make money online, right? But when people get started, they're like, well, how do I even get started? What the heck is print on demand? You know, like, does it take money? Does it take time? Do I need tech experience? And I'm like, no, you don't need any of that, right? Like literally someone like me who's not the smartest person in the world can do this and why can't you? So let's actually break it down. What is print on demand? What, it, what the heck is it? Well essentially what it is, is say like you go to a site like for example Amazon and you buy this cat t-shirt, right? Look at this, oh only three reviews um, and someone buys this cat t-shirt or this one. You know someone goes ahead and buys this. You literally spend money on Amazon and what print on demand is, is Amazon or other like print on demand companies will literally print the design on the t-shirt, ship it out on your behalf and you just get paid for it. That essentially is what print on demand is. And it's really like crazy because you gotta think about it. What that does is it automates fulfillment, it automates delivery, it automates you not having to do any of the back end stuff which allows you to actually make passive income. Now this is actually really crazy because one of the hardest things in business is literally selling it, but after sell selling it, delivering the product. It takes time, it takes resources, it takes hiring a team, but with print on demand it's all automated. So that's why people are able to make like, for example, $100 a day, $500 a day, you know, $1,000 with this like method, right? And there's so many different ways that you could go ahead and do it, right? Um, the next step is you gotta ask yourself, well, how much money can you actually go ahead and make? Well, it's pretty simple. You wanna think about each one of these designs as pieces of real estate. Same way how like if you get a good location, you go and borrow money from the bank, you put your money down and you get a tenant to go in like, for example, this apartment building, you could profit or cash flow $200 a month. But like with Amazon or with like other print on demand services, you know, real estate also exists on the online world. Like when people, for example, type in things like cat, t-shirt, think about all these words that people are searching for on Amazon as addresses. But instead of physical addresses, these are digital ad addresses where people are driving their eyeballs to. What does that mean? When there's eyeballs, you could go ahead and make money, right? In each one of these designs that you could go ahead and make could maybe make you $50 a month, $100 a month. I'm going to show you exactly how you can scale it too so that you know you don't have to just depend on one platform like Amazon. This is just an example of like what print on demand is. Um, but you could exactly see that you know some of these designs only get like one review or 15 reviews so there's really not that much competition for people that are just getting started. Does that make sense? Especially if you could go ahead and find the right pieces of digital real estate, right? Now, the now this is exactly how to get started how I got started. So first step is really pick a, picking a win, winning niche. Now you're like, well, how do I find a winning niche? Think about like, you know, the crazy cat lady or like, for example, my girlfriend in, um, in high school, super Polish grandma or mom, I forgot what it was, had all these elephants in her room, like elephant statues, elephant t-shirts, all these things. These are people that, you know, tied their identity to this thing. That's what a niche is. So think about a vegan, right? Vegans are like, they'll tell you that they're vegan before like, you know, you even met them. Or, you know, people that are into certain religions or politics or Democrats or Republicans. You know, like when Trump, you know, uh, was like going into office and whatnot, so many people were getting like Trump t-shirts because it was so tied in to their identity. Look at this. There's all these like different Trump t-shirts that went like really popular when he like was going for like the presidency, right? So that's exactly what I mean. You know, that was really tied to people's identities. You know, for example, for me, I chose like elephants because I knew that I like I was dating this girl that had, you know, one of those crazy elephant ladies that would buy all these elephant things or crazy cat ladies or beagle lovers. Anything with like an animal is like really popular. Dogs, right? Um, religion, so I sold like things in the Christianity niche. Those are all like 
identity based. And the second step that I would do is I would find like winning designs in those niches, right? So I remember going to Pinterest and typing in cat t-shirt um, and I would see all these designs that I was like, oh wow, these are all pretty simple. Got to have more cats. It's funny because it's like got to, but it's also like, that's how you say it in Spanish, right? And some of these are like super simple to make. So I would just screenshot all of these and this would be like my little research tab, right? I would do the exact same thing on Redbubble. I would type in, if I wanted to be an elephant, type in elephants or I would type in cat t-shirt. On Redbubble, I would find out like what is really popular right now on Redbubble, right? You could see all these designs right here. And then, you know, even like this one, um, show me all your kitties. Uh, that kind of looks similar to some of these like cat t-shirts on here, right? So you could see that, oh wow, what works on one platform would probably work on, you know, another platform. Like if I type in cat t-shirt, Let's see this. Where are the winning ones right here? You see this one? This one looks very similar to uh, this one, right? And you can see that, oh wow, like a lot of these designs, like look at this, cat dabbing, like one of these like moves. You see the exact same thing right here, cat dabbing. So you see that winning designs will increase the chances of you making sales. The last one that I would do, for example, is Etsy. I would go to Etsy, type in like cat t-shirt, and I would just see like what the heck are people buying right now? Look at this. Similar thing right here, look at this. One platform, this could be making 50 to $100 a day here. Then you see it on Redbubble, 50 to $100 a day there. And you could see like it on, uh, for example, Amazon, 50 to $100 a day on here. You could see this, right? Look at this, meow, meow, this is like a little heartbeat. Um, but you could see that the, these literally exist on so many different like platforms and whatnot, right? So you could see how crazy, like literally how crazy all of this actually goes ahead and works. Does that make sense, right? So the next thing that you wanna do is go ahead and create those designs. So there's multiple different ways. You could go to Canva for free and just type in like t-shirt. And the coolest thing about this is they have all these designs, all these designs and done for you templates that you can literally come in here, do this, type in something as simple as like, I love cats. And just like that, I've created a design within like seconds, right? I could do the exact same thing like this one, which is I love elephants. You could see I love cats, I love elephants. I could even go over to like got to have more cats, right? So you could see all of those were pretty fast. Now what I ended up doing, because I knew that like I needed to value my time and I couldn't be the one that created all these designs, I would go to a company like upwork.com, type in the word graphic designer, and then look for the people that are $10 an hour below and from the Philippines. And I would find people like, for example, this girl right here. This girl charges $7 an hour. She's earned over two grand. She has 100% job success and she's top rated. I would find these people from Upwork to literally create these designs for me because some of these designs would literally take them minutes or even seconds, right? And like, I remember doing the math, it would charge me about like $2 in uh, design. So I was like, okay, am I willing to spend $2 on a design that can make me a hundred dollars a day. How many of you guys would spend two dollars on a design that can make you even fifty dollars a month or a hundred dollars a month, right? Think about it. You get ten designs at a hundred dollars a month. That's already like you know a thousand dollars a month in passive income, right? That's two dollars that you know turn into all that wealth. As opposed to like if you had real estate, you have to literally borrow money from the bank and put like tens of thousands of dollars down, right? So you can see exactly how crazy that is. And then what I would do is I would upload it to things like, for example, Merch by Amazon is like a free way you could get started. You can literally sell your designs as Amazon products, reaching millions of customers worldwide with no upfront cost or investment to you. So you upload your artwork on there, you set a list price, they print what's sold, they have fast shipping with Prime and you earn monthly royalties. So here you don't have to spend any money whatsoever. Any money whatsoever. And if someone goes ahead and buys from here, Amazon will do all the hard work and just pay you. Okay, so that's the first way. Another way is just doing that same design and just uploading it on Redbubble, because it's free, right? Like if you're gonna upload it on Amazon, might as well upload it on Redbubble, because there's literally millions of people that go to Redbubble that wanna buy things every single day for free too, right? So just upload it on there. The next thing that I would do, which is a little bit more advanced, um, because it requires you to buy products, but you don't have to buy it until after you've made a sale, is you could literally link with Etsy a concept known as Printful and Printful.com. Now here, the coolest thing about Printful is you're not limited to just t-shirts. You have swimwear, uh, dresses, flip-flops, sports bras, leggings, right? Look at this, leggings, right? Like the reason why like, I have this right here, I just typed in, for example, cat yoga pants, and you see all these things pop up. Look at this, $54, 283 reviews. Now if I literally pull that up, this person has made 1,700 sales. This is a print-on-demand product. When someone goes ahead and buys this from Etsy, someone else is getting paid. 
they take that money and you know what happens is Printful automatically prints the design on the leggings and ships it out to the people, right? Automatically literally ships it out to the people, right? They didn't have to ship it, they didn't have to do any of the shipping and handling, all that stuff, right? But what you do is you get charged, for example, 20 bucks. You see that starting from 20 bucks? But you only get charged 20 bucks after you've made a sale and you've already made like $54. How many guys would spend $24 on you know leggings that you're shipping out, but only after you've already made fifty dollars, it's just math. Like if I'm spending twenty bucks, but I just made fifty bucks, and I don't have to spend this twenty bucks until I made fifty bucks, it's literally no risk. Does that make sense? Now the next step, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to transition this over to your own website, like Shopify.com, because the thing about this is you want to collect buyers' emails. Now, in all these traditional ways, you don't own your email list, meaning you don't own your actual business. So what happens is what people are doing in this print on demand business, they're literally depending their you know, revenue, their livelihood on these platforms that might go away in the future, right? Like odds are they won't, like for example, Amazon's here to say, but like just, just what if, right? And it, it, it keeps you like at a certain cap because you can't learn advertisements, you can't do like monthly promotions, um, you don't build like a long-term asset actually. So once you have winning products, you need to move them over to your own website. And the cool thing about Shopify is like 20 or $30 a month to go ahead and do it, right? That's little, you can literally get one design to pay for that. And within five minutes, you could have a fully branded store that literally links with Printful, and you could have all of these things, beach towels, aprons, leggings, joggings, jewelry, pillowcases, on your own website, centered around a specific niche. Does that make sense? And it's powerful because this asset, you could actually sell this for millions later on. And you can see, you know, Fanjoy did something very similar, except they did print on demand, but with like influencers. And you can see how crazy it is, you know? Like these people just partner with like existing YouTubers, and they pull in 25 to $50 million a year. So do you think if they're able to do that, with t-shirts and designs, you think you can make, you know, $1,000 a month, $100 a day, $700 a day? Think about it, right? This is what some people are doing. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna make 25 to 50 million, but heck, if all this did was make you like $100 a day, what would that do for you? Where would you go? Who would you be? Does that make sense? And when you do that, you can create your own marketing campaigns by just like partnering with influencers, same way. Like I can type in cat tips and partner with this girl, only 4,000 subscribers, 600,000 views, if I told her, hey, you know, wear this t-shirt on all of the, your videos, um, and if anyone makes a sale, in your link in the description, I'll pay you, you know, 20% of the profit. But you're like, well, I don't wanna spend any money. Well, you're not spending any of your own money. You already, for example, bought this at 20 bucks, but after you've made the sale for 50 bucks, and because it's on your own website, you get like, mo you, all of that's profit. You're not splitting it with Etsy. You're not splitting it with Amazon. You're not splitting it with Redbubble. So you're literally getting like 25 to 30 bucks profit if you're getting 30 bucks profit each time, would you give them $15 for them to do the marketing for you? And then you get to just sit back and relax and make passive income. Does that make sense? But guys, actually right now, there's even a faster and easier way to make passive income. That's completely brand new this year. We literally pivoted and now people are going from $10 a day to $100 a day to even $1,000 a day. Faster and easier than I've ever seen. Just check it out in this free workshop below where we literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to $160,000 in 90 days. As well, check my podcast of all these really successful people that make a bunch of money online that live here in Bali. Like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit. Hope this helps. Check it out right here and here. Love you guys. See you guys later. You.